If you're looking for the best PC speakers, then this video is for you. In this video, we break down the top five best computer speakers on the market for this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So if you're interested in finding out which PC speaker will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. So let's get started. The first one on our list is SteelSeries Arena 7. SteelSeries have landed on a really pleasant balance of subtle, but styled with the Arena 7 speaker set. Looking at the design, you'll find an elegant curve on the speakers both across the drivers, on the front, and on the housing itself. Despite being pretty chunky, they're compact units with a rock-solid stand under each that are perfectly balanced. At around 20 centimeters high and just over 10 centimeters wide and deep, they're big enough to deliver punchy sound. In terms of driver size and specifics, the two satellites have a 3-inch driver and 3.4-inch tweeter, while the subwoofer is a 6.5-inch down-firing speaker. The connections on the back are plentiful and nicely laid out though, and with USB-C, aux, optical, and Bluetooth connectivity, there's just about every option you could need. After you've plugged in the SteelSeries Arena 7, they transform from a very understated, all-black affair to an all-singing, all-dancing disco deal through RGB lighting. Thankfully, the colorful execution here is both subtle, controllable, and excellent. Performance-wise, SteelSeries speakers have been a go-to for gamers for some time now, and we are pleased to say that the audio experience has well and truly made its way into the Arena 7 speakers. They sound great, really impressively great. Testing with a few hours in GTA 5, Arena 7 did a great job of presenting the wide range of sounds thrown at you at once. In-game music was pleasant and balanced. SteelSeries GG software throws up full equalizer control to tweak the sound to your liking. GG is also where you'll control your RGB features. The only downside is that these speakers might take up a considerable space on your desk, which is manageable. All in all, the SteelSeries Arena 7 is a worthy option for anyone wanting a set of decent speakers to offer a more immersive sound in games and music alike. The next one on our list is Logitech Z407 Bluetooth Computer Speaker. Once in a while though, we are treated with more than decent computer speakers that not only look great but sound great as well. And the Logitech Z407 is one such peripheral. With a pretty decent size and dimensions, the Logitech Z407 is small enough to fit perfectly on a small desk. The speakers also support a smart look with capsule-shaped satellites and a dark gray finish that makes it a classy addition to work and creative setups. The Logitech Z407 is also versatile. The removable satellite stands may be attached in two ways, so you can either have a horizontal or an upright setup. It also has a wireless control dial with a 20-meter range and three connectivity options, Bluetooth, micro-USB, and the 3.5 millimeters, which further boosts its versatility. When it comes to audio quality, the Logitech Z407 gets right what so many cheaper computer speakers fail to do. In fact, for a computer speaker system this compact, it blasts out surprisingly hefty audio in terms of quality and volume. Its sound may be slightly lacking in detail, and its sub can overpower the rest of the frequencies when it's at a higher volume. However, the Logitech Z407 still sounds impressive. The subwoofer has a lot of power for its size, with a down-firing driver that gives it a whole lot of rumble. However, there's no virtual surround sound feature here, so you're really only experiencing 2.1 audio. Still, the Logitech Z407 boasts plenty of rumbles and produces terrific sound quality that will satisfy most gamers, as well as users looking to consume media, whether that's music or movies. Overall, the Logitech Z407 computer speakers have surprised us in many ways, delivering a powerful sound, rumbling bass, several connectivity options, and a nifty wireless dial at a pretty fair price. The third one on our list is Razer Leviathan V2. These speakers have impressed us for multiple reasons. The Razer Leviathan V2 has gotten some upgrades over its previous iteration. It still supports the same trademark Razer Black with green accents look, and the soundbar onboard controls are fairly subdued, and the build quality is superb. The biggest design change is the move to a pure cube shape for the subwoofer, rather than the semi-cube of the V1. The feet of the Leviathan V2 can also be swapped out to angle the soundbar upward, rather than straight out at desk level. The subwoofer, meanwhile, is a very nondescript plastic cube with a down-firing horn to push out the bass. Plus, the subwoofer is wired, unfortunately, so it can't go too far from the soundbar. To speak of the features, first, there's the THX Spatial Audio. 
which goes beyond basic stereo to create a much more surround sound-like experience. The other major feature of the Leviathan V2 is the inclusion of 18-zone chroma RGB lighting which is controlled through the Razer Synapse. While the previous Leviathan model accepted 3.5 millimeters and optical audio inputs, the Leviathan V2 ditches those for a single USB Type-C connection. Additionally, you can also connect your phone or other Bluetooth-capable devices to the Leviathan V2, performance-wise, thanks to the array of drivers on both the soundbar and subwoofer. The soundscape produced by the Leviathan V2 is honestly one of the best audio experiences you're going to find anywhere close to this price range. Gaming, blasting music, watching new Netflix movies between gaming sessions, whatever. It's going to sound amazing. In short, the Razer Leviathan V2 soundbar subwoofer combo will rattle your walls and impress your neighbors with some of the best computer audio we've heard outside of a studio setting. The next one on our list is Creative Pebble V3. If you're looking for affordable computer speakers that don't take up much space on your desk, Creative Pebble V3 minimalistic 2.0 USB-C speakers with Bluetooth should be near the top of your list. Pebble speakers are eye-catching modern-looking orbs of sound. To give it more style, the spherical shape is sliced at an angle on top, exposing the driver. The back of each satellite features another slice that shows a passive base radiator. On the right satellite, there's a knob on the front to control the volume, and an LED light that changes color to indicate which input you're using. To the right of the volume knob, you'll find a small button for Bluetooth pairing. The back has a USB-C cable, which provides power to the unit and can also provide a connection to your computer. Plus, a second wire connects to the left satellite. Neither cable is removable. You'll also find a 3.5 millimeters port on the right speaker if you prefer to connect to your audio source that way. One feature the Pebble lacks is a headphone output, which is convenient to have when you want to switch to personal listening. These small speakers produce a big sound and come with plenty of ways to connect to your computer or other audio sources, including USB-C and Bluetooth. They're reasonably priced as well. The Pebble V3 sounds much better than the stock speakers in a laptop and most monitors, as well as most cheaper computer speakers. The voices are clear and the overall sound is big, and it's much louder than your built-in speakers. There's a little bass, but not much. You'll have to spend more to get a noticeable low end in computer speakers. To cut the long story short, the Creative Pebble V3 speakers produce good sound for their size and price, and look good too. The last one on our list is Logitech G560 PC Gaming Speakers. The Logitech G560 speakers offer booming sound and plenty of styles. To speak of the design, the G560 comes with a lot of pieces and wires, a rectangular subwoofer, which will probably live somewhere on your floor acts as the focal point for the whole setup. From there, you connect two circular speakers, which you place on your desk. There's also a USB cable that runs from the subwoofer directly to your computer, and a power cable. The left speaker is just a speaker. The right speaker has a volume control on top, as well as a button to change the RGB lighting brightness. Around the back, there are buttons to shut off the speakers or pair a Bluetooth device. The speakers are quite large, about 7.5 inch high and 6.0 inches wide. Plus, the headphone jack sounds treble forward, and its position in the back of the speaker makes it perilous for short cables. While the G560 can handle any sound you throw at it from any source, its primary purpose is as a PC gaming accessory. The G560 provided rich, immersive sound, regardless of the genre. Whether we used DTS 7.1 surround sound or standard stereo, the audio broadcasted the full range of everything we needed to hear, voice work, sound effects, and music. You'll use the Logitech gaming software not only to configure lighting options, but also to activate surround sound, switch between equalization settings, and create profiles for individual games. To conclude, the G560 is an impressive first crack at a dedicated gaming speaker system with rich sound for both games and music, a novel design, and lots of ways to customize your experience, the G560 is a worthwhile investment. You got it. So that's it for the top 5 best PC speakers in the market for this year. Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notifications about our latest video.